So what we've done so far is we have some body, not some body, but we have a body, okay? And we have a force acting on that body, and we want to determine the moment due to that force. So we know that the moment is R cross F, and it causes a moment with a direction that is perpendicular to the plane of the R and F vectors. Okay, and so that we've done now. But now, say now we wanted to get the projection of this onto any other direction, right? Um, so it says we can now obtain an expression for uh, the moment of F about any axis. So this causes a moment about that axis of that magnitude. But what is the moment of that force? about any axis okay so let's let's call this a other axis lambda so we, we already know how to do this first of all we calculate this moment which is r cross f just as we normally do and so now we've got this moment vector right pointing uh, perpendicular to the plane of these two and now we can dot it with a unit vector in that direction. Right? You just, that's a vector. We have a unit vector. If we dot those two, we're going to get the magnitude, right, of the moment in that direction. Okay, meaning you point your thumb in that direction and there's a rotation about that axis. That's what it means. So, the first step is R cross F gives us this moment and now we dot it with this with a unit vector along that axis that you are interested in. But remember that this is a vector and this is a vector and if you dot the two vectors you get a scalar. Right? All you're doing is you're getting a scalar value but now you need to, again, convert that into a vector by multiplying that scalar value by, again, by the unit vector n. So that's what we have here. So R cross F, that's the moment. That's that moment MO. It's a vector MO. We dot it with n to get our scalar value. And then we have to, again, multiply it by the unit vector n to convert it now again into a vector. And now we've got our moment vector. Okay?